uh, another police department here in the small town of Trinity, Texas. Let me show you a photo of two police officers there. Perhaps you've already seen it. Perhaps you have shared this. These officers uh, posted this video in response to the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, and this has received many, many clicks and shares uh, on social media. And, and in the same way that sometimes only images can, it's expanding the conversation on what the Black Lives Matter movement, and perhaps even beyond that, really is truly about. So joining me, one of those men uh, in the photo, uh, this is Officer Donald Givens of the Trinity Police Department. So, Officer, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry we couldn't get the other officer. He's on vacation with his family. He has allowed a little time off, so we'll, we'll, we'll forgive him for that. Sir, welcome. <laughs> How's it going Can, today? It is going well. It is going well. Can you just yeah. tell me whose idea was this? Well, actually, me and Chief, we normally get together and think about uh, certain things we can do to basically uplift our community here in Trinity, uh, as well as uh, ourselves as a department. And uh, we came up with the idea because of the issues that was going around in our nation. Uh, and uh, we talked about the Black Lives Matter. And uh, we didn't want the, the, the word Black Lives Matter uh, to be stand standoffish, because I look at it, I don't want it to be a hate group, because some people see it as uh, just as, you know, like the KKK, the skinheads and such. So uh, we took the amongst ourselves to, to, to say that all lives matter. Do you, I'm uh, sorry, life, may I just let me life, pause. And I'm, I'm hanging on your every word, but I think when you say, you know, a Black Lives Matter movement would be like a hate group, I can only imagine what the activists, you know, would obviously vehemently disagree with you and say, listen, they're there to be able to bring a voice to a group who they feel like hasn't really been heard and, and who has, they would say, been abused by, by police officers. Well, that's, that's true. I mean, but at the same time, uh, you know, we all need to come together as, as, a, as a nation. And uh, not just one particular race, and and uh, to be heard. Um, I'm I'm the only minority on this department, and, and and by no means have I been isolated and and singled out by no means, it, 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 even without this community. So, um, I think as a nation, we should come together uh, with our local department, uh, local uh, officials, and state government, and and uh, and voice our opinion. But uh, violence is not the way uh, that's 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 portrayed in our American society today. What do you do, Officer Givens, just day in and day out, just to make sure you know you are patrolling the streets of Trinity with with compassion and care, and not with a bias? Well, I'm the community affairs officer here, so my my job, per se, besides fighting the crime here, is to go out within the community and talk to people and listen to their to their concerns and issues, and uh, and pay attention to what and the concerns that they do have, and bring them back to the department, and we talk about those issues, whether they're positive or negative. And uh, we try to make sure that uh, those issues are, are taken care of. Uh, so I, I think as the departments are, are across, across the nation, if the communities can come together and go to their local departments and say, okay, these are the issues we have, uh, they can be corrected. I don't think they'll be ignored. What about, I mean, I know you've been following the news. I know you've been following all these different stories that are making national headlines with regard to potential police abuse, uh, you know, which is really sort of... Uh, I don't know. R risen the curtain, if I if I if I may, to you know the need for body cams and and you know how some police their allegations of lying on police reports and 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 that kind of thing and need for transparency. And when you're watching all of this, all these stories unfold, what do you think? Well, it's isolated. Again, it's just isolated, and it's unfortunate that some of those incidents have taken place. And and as as a as a law enforcement officer, uh, we. We, we still have a, a oath to uphold and to abide by uh, uh, the Constitution to uphold the law. So, um, unfortunately, again, that was some instances that, that shouldn't occur, and, and I'm glad that, I hate that they did occur, but uh, by no means that I, I would turn my back on uh, my law enforcement or, uh, brotherhood, whether they're white or black, uh, because I'm, I'm quite sure we all, uh, when we put, when we sit up in the morning, uh, we pray that we can come home to our families. and. Um, I, I pray about this nation every day, and I wish, you know, it can get better than the way it is right now. Mm. Mm. I'm mindful of your family and, and the sacrifices you, you take on each and every day. Officer Donald Gibbons, thank you so much, and tell the police chief we're sorry we missed him. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. We'll be right back.